Hi everyone, welcome to episode 5 of the How to Start Your Printing Business series. Today, we will go over sublimation and what you need to know before starting your business with this method. The technical definition of sublimation is the transition of a substance directly from a solid state to a gas state. Applying that to sublimation printing, once heat and pressure is applied to sublimation ink, it will turn into a gas, which will then be transferred onto a substrate where the ink will re-solidify. That's the technical explanation. Now let's go over the printing process step by step. First, you'll need a sublimation printer. Today, we'll be using the Epson F170. Find an image you'd like to print and print it onto the sublimation paper of your choice. Here, we're using the Epson dye sublimation paper. Once complete, you will need a substrate to print on. With sublimation, only 100% polyester fabrics and poly-coated substrates will be able to fully accept the ink. Here, we'll be printing on 100% polyester fabric. Place the substrate onto the heat press, then place the print on top. Cover everything with some craft paper and press at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds. Once complete, pull off the transfer paper and you'll be able to see the print has successfully sublimated onto the polyester substrate. In terms of real estate required to set up for sublimation printing, it can vary. When you're starting out, the setup can be quite small. Get a desk to hold your Epson F170 and a heat press, and you're ready to go. As you grow your business, your printer may upgrade to an Epson F570 for increased print size and speeds. Later on, you can also upgrade your printer again to something that may not quite fit on top of your table anymore, such as the Epson F6370. Either way, you can rest assured that this print method can grow with your business. Let's break down the costs of starting your new print shop using sublimation. You can start with the Epson F170, which currently runs for $399. Then you'll need to add a heat press. We recommend the Stahls Max Press, which runs for $800. Lastly, a pack of 100 Epson transfer paper costs $18. Your total investment to get your business started will be $1,217. Now, let's look at the pros and cons, starting with the pros. Sublimation printing has a low cost of entry at just $1,217 to get started. Sublimation also has a high ceiling as you can upgrade to larger prints to increase production. The print quality itself is also a huge plus, as sublimation prints come out extremely vibrant and stretchability is also great. The variety of uses is also a plus, as anything that has a polymer coating can be sublimated on. Now, the cons. The main downside of sublimation is when you work with garments. You are limited to 100% polyester fabrics that are also white. You can print on other colored polyester fabrics, but the print will not come out vibrant since the color of the fabric may overpower the actual print. Our conclusion? Sublimation is an amazing option to start your printing business with a low cost of entry, high quality prints, variety of substrates to print on, and the ability to scale. Just remember, if you plan on mostly printing on 100% cotton garments, then it might be worth it to check out some of the other printing methods that we've gone over in this series. All right, that's it for this video. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified whenever we upload a new video. How to Start Your Printing Business series will be back on Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific. Also, if you need more detailed information, please fill out the contact form in the link below to get in touch with our team of experts. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.